I have two hours before I have to go to work, so let's make a video. wondering why I'm not using my awesome coffee machine. Well the thing is that all my coffee discs ended and I ordered the new ones but they haven't arrived yet so I'm just making regular coffee like a regular person. I know these shots where I make the intros and everything seem super easy, but it took me approximately 10 minutes to do each one of them. There's something wrong with the whole angle, let me just fix it up a little bit. Okay, I think this is a lot better. I know that most of my videos lately have been inside and filmed either here or in the kitchen or in the room somewhere where there's more light. That's because of two reasons. First of all, I don't want to go out while it's raining all the time. It's raining now, it's raining at nights, it's raining at days, it's raining all the fucking time. Although I have enough artificial lights to light myself up in any part of the house, I'm kind of getting into this whole natural light thing. I think it just feels more natural. Unintended. I hope you don't mind that the videos are mostly inside and I'm not going outside doing awesome things and stuff, but I will. It, the spring is coming, I can feel it. But for now, you can at least enjoy the morning coffee with me. So, one of the things I wanted to talk about is goals. You know that I'm a huge fan of Casey Neistat, and in one of his videos, he said that without a goal, you can't score. And I think that's true. Because obviously you can achieve several things, you can do things, you can progress. But if you haven't set an actual goal, then it's harder to notice the progress that you're making. So for myself, I set up quite a big goal. I wanted to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2017. And I want to get 100,000 total views for my videos by the end of the year as well. Obviously, I know it's a really big goal because I'm at 1,100 subs right now and I have, I think, 37,000 views in total. And I get approximately 100 views with each video, which I think would mean I would have to make 7,000 videos by the end of the year, which probably I wouldn't. But at least it's a goal, and when you set up a goal even that big, it starts to make you work more, it's like a motivation. Because if I wouldn't have a goal, I would just make a video once a week, once in two weeks, and I wouldn't care how much of a big audience I have at the end of the year. So, so I wouldn't have that drive to actually go and do stuff. For example today, I have two hours before work. Obviously. It, I could just chill, watch some more YouTube videos, I don't know, Facebook, Instagram, whatever, you know? But setting up that goal makes me know that if I don't do stuff, I'm not gonna reach my goal. And clearly, I understand that I might not achieve my goal, but still, that drive probably will get me much further than not having a goal, you know? The battery's dying again. So there's two things I'm gonna do to boost my progress and one of them is getting a better microphone. I've saved up some money so the sound should be better than just the Canon microphone that's built in. And the second thing which I already did is I got myself a better internet connection. So faster uploads means more videos, kinda. 
because I have the slowest internet in the world and usually it takes approximately 9-10 hours to upload a video so I usually just let them upload at night and while I'm uploading I can't use the internet at home which makes me feel like I'm a caveman or something and the second thing I want to talk about is time you probably know that Gary Waynarchuk talks about it all the time so the thing is most of the new people online or in general but mostly I'm talking about YouTube now Mostly, everyone wants to succeed fast. You see a lot of channels like Peter McKinnon that explode just in few days. You just make 16 videos and you're at 100,000 subs. That's awesome! So a lot of new people on YouTube just want to do it fast. They want to make 5 videos and I get 10,000 subs and I'm rich and that's the only thing I can do. I, have, I can finally quit school, I don't have to have a real job, it's gonna be awesome. I'll buy drones and I'll buy the biggest cameras and I'll set up a studio for myself and I don't have to film myself in the bedroom. But most of the times it's not gonna happen. I mean quickly, obviously you can get all those things but in time and that's something I need to work on as well because I'm quite impatient and sometimes you think well I've been here for half a year I've been spending my days off making videos and there isn't that big of a progress I'm not big on YouTube yet but then you have to think to yourself most of the big big youtubers have spent years on YouTube making thousands of videos Usually when you see the big YouTubers, they probably have more than 300 or 500 or 700 videos. And you don't make 700 videos in a month. You know what I mean? So, a lot of these YouTubers are also very young. They're like 15. But a lot of filmmakers, a lot of successful people, they're old. They've had so much time to make videos, to practice to understand what works and what doesn't and I don't think just 10 videos will do the trick you know obviously my best example think about Casey he spent two years vlogging every single day and that's when he made it that's why he's so big but he spent approximately 18 to 20 years to actually get the craft to understand how videos work to get where he is now to all of you who are sad and impatient and want to give up now because you're already 16 and you've been making videos for a year your time hasn't even come you still have to try well sometimes I think well I'm 23 I wish I would have started making videos earlier because I think I'm kind of old now but what no there's like 30 year olds I think Ben Brown is 30 or something more Ray William Johnson's over 30 obviously he's off from YouTube but he's more of a Facebook video guy but still he made it but it took a long time and you have to be patient you have so much time to become an actual youtuber or a star or a musician or whatever you're here for so relax enjoy yourself have some fun with the videos don't stress about it don't don't give up just because you've been here for a while and nothing happens. Shane Dawson has been on YouTube for more than, what, seven years, I think? So all of the people who are actually good on YouTube have spent a lot of time. So if you would like to be a YouTuber, then just give yourself time. Well, I hope you understand what I mean. I still have a problem with expressing myself without writing the stuff down. But my coffee is almost over so i think this is the end of the coffee time is that a segment not yet and also thank you for all the awesome comments on the previous video i didn't know it would get so much attention but thanks a lot i'm i'm happy but the thing is i've said thank you to all my consistent viewers and now there's nobody left. I mean, there's no one who shines out. So I'm just gonna say thank you to the last person who commented and that is... Okay, my other camera's battery died. So I figured I'd, I would just use this one. So where was I? 
yeah so the viewer of the day will just be the last person who commented which is a youtuber called we raiders that's a shout out for you buddy good luck i know i said that i would do the whole shout out thing for a while but what do you think should I continue? And the last thing, write down in the comments section about the goals that you've set up for yourself. Do you have any? Are you gonna set up any goals for yourself? Write down in the comments section and let's make a discussion out of it. Also, I'm using my small camera, so I have to use my phone to see what I'm filming and this is how it looks. Also, I don't know how good is the sound recording on this small thing so maybe i have to refilm the whole thing on the big camera again all right that's it for now thanks for watching and i'll see you next week or probably sooner